Hi, welcome back to Physics Teacher. This is a question from the Grade 11 Chemistry Contest called the Avogadro Exam Contest from Water University. And it has to do with limiting reactants. Give it a try and I'll be right back with the solution. All right, so in this question, it wants to know how many grams of diborane can be made starting with five grams of lithium aluminum hydride and an excess of boron trifluoride according to this following reaction. All right, so we have two reactants and it says we have an excess of borium trifluoride, which means the lithium aluminum hydride is our limiting reaction. So our first step is going to be trying to find the molar mass of this compound. All right, to do that, let's say we have lithium. We only have one lithium. So you can look it up on a periodic table. You look up the uh, atomic or the average atomic mass of lithium. And it turns out to be 6.94. So we have 6.94 grams per mole of lithium. Aluminum. You can look that up too. And you'll have 26.98 grams per mole. And you do get a periodic table on this contest. And lastly, we have four hydrogens. So we're going to have four hydrogens. So that's going to be four times 1.001 grams per mole. And then if you add these together, we get our molar mass of lithium aluminum hydride to be 37.96 grams per mole. So that's the first step. The next step will be to convert this molar mass into an amount or a mass of our compound. So to do that, we're going to take how much we have which will be five grams divided by the molar mass. So five grams divided by 37.96 grams per mole. And you can see in the units, grams is going to cancel. We'll get moles in the numerator. And we end up with 0 0.13172, and I'm gonna round there the two moles of lithium aluminum hydride. All right, so the next step is to use our coefficients for our limiting reactant and what we're looking for to figure out the amount of moles that we're going to have of diborane. So N for diborane will be 0 0.13172 moles of lithium aluminum hydride and we're going to multiply that by 2 2 moles of diborane over 3 moles of lithium hydride so our units here are going to cancel and we're going to end up with moles of diborane which we end up getting 0 0.08 seven eight one moles of b2h6 so now that we know how many moles we have of this we can calculate its molar mass and then its amount in grams so we're going to do the same thing here we're going to calculate the molar mass of diborane so we have um b and there's two of them so you can check that up on your periodic table. So you have two times 10.81 grams per mole. And then we have a total of six hydrogens. So that's going to be six times 1.01 .01 grams per mole. And we get a total molar mass of B2H6 to B. 27.68 grams per mole. So now that we know 
how many moles we have of diborane and the molar mass of diborane, we can calculate the mass, which is n times, so that equals 0 0.08781 moles times by 27.68 grams per mole. Notice that your units of moles cancel and you're left with 2.43 grams, or the answer is B.